Okay, we are walking in the backyard of Covenant, uh, which we are dreaming of what do we want to do back here. And we've contacted a friend who has an excavation company. And we're like, how do we get all this rock and cement out of here and make grass for the kids? But anyway, last night, Chapman and Allegra made a fire pit and a path walkway. What are you calling it? Well, show it to me. It is like the most amazing thing. I have to document it. My oldest son. Makeshift greenhouse we need to take down. This is the coolest most ingenious pathway. Chapman, Chapman Revere. I absolutely, they used all the wood. <laughs> and it walks to this cool fire pit. That is, that is so creative. I, I, absolutely love it so proud of you now I really can't wait to design this backyard <laughs> happy Friday such a beautiful day here in the valley I was waiting for Allegra to do it, but did you do it? You dried it out? Well, good job. Did you guys say thank you? A wine delivery, a remnant, a remnant wine delivery from our Ashton Creek membership days. Yeah. This is the best. Yeah. It's, it's delicious. Just a blend, but I can't remember what what it is. Right. Even though we got delivered to the wrong house, <laughs> we think we live in the country. We just go knock on the neighbor's door and say, "Hey, buddy, you got our box." That I do. <laughs> wrong house. I mean, that wrong house is about three miles away. But <laughs> what'd you get into? A green smoothie? <laughs> A green smoothie? Was it good? Did you eat any of it or is it just all over you? <laughs> What are you doing? Oh my 
goodness. <laughs> oh my. You're eating granola. <laughs> oh my. Oh, that is hilarious. Didn't even see you. What kind of operation you running in here, girl? I'm not. I'm cooking dinner. <laughs> Mercy, you caught her at the right time. Yeah, you did. <laughs> you cutie girl. <laughs> to the yard to see our new hossie, Firefox. He's the brother of Firefly. This is going to be a magnificent trip today. Lots of surprises in store. <laughs> and here we have it, Miss Adeline's driver. <laughs> Adeline sounds more European than Adeline, sorry, madam. They're headed down to the Mount Jackson Yard <laughs> to ride their pretty horses. Did you get in your closet and get all your horse blankets? I've got some new ones hanging for you there. It's got flowers on one of them and one of them. Uh, it's, Mercy's, <laughs> it's Mercy's blanket, but it'll fit over Firefox. It's very nice and comfortable. It's organic. Firefox. <laughs> That horse has more names with that. And that's not a joke, guys. Don't. Tell our horses I said hi. Tell them we got a big race coming up, so y'all take good care of them thingies. Bye bye. Don't drive through our pretty alley like that again. Live in La Vida Loca, the faithful city. Bye, Addy. Bye, Bye Dada. The same as yeah, yeah, y'all gonna have fun. Testing, testing. I actually had the microphone plugged in and mm -hmm. wasn't using the microphone. So, see, okay. I totally don't have this set up like Dada. He said, Good luck <clears throat> recording. My like, great. He's Mr. Professional. <coughs> Mama is just the driver today. It is very surreal. I grew up having horses. <coughs> I was like, that was my passion. My passion was horses. But I was raised to go to college, get a good, secure job in healthcare. And I was just raised in a generation that we didn't chase our passion, which is fine. Everything works out for me. But Addie's passion is horses, which is amazing because we never like, push never push that on her or anything. Um, but what we are pushing her to do is that you are created for a purpose, and what your passion is. We live in a country where you can monetize that for your lifestyle, for your for your life you know what do what you love don't do something because you want to make money and you want to have a um, a lifestyle don't live to work for money <laughs> live to do what you love to do what you're created to do money will follow so um, yeah it's amazing to see this play out so sometimes Redemption in your life doesn't look like in your physical life. Maybe it looks like the next generation. Maybe it looks like your kids redeeming things in your life that you lost or you didn't get to live out. So that's one day I'll write again when I'm not pregnant. <laughs> Darren. Hello, is your microphone on? You see a little blue light. Hello. Okay, it's blinking. It shouldn't be blinking, it should be solid. Solid blue. Hey, Dad. 
It's a crazy horse. Got your stuff, I see. Yes. You want to come get your pony with me? Sure. It's an exciting time when Anne lets you yeah. get him by yourself because that means you get more ride time. Mm -hmm. You got them big muscles to lift it? Look at you. Good job. Good. All right, and go ahead and pull. Good. Very good job. I'm super proud of you for sticking with him when he didn't want to do what we wanted <laughs> yeah. to do. So, good to know. We will, from the get-go, hit the rump. Okay? <laughs> Sometimes you gotta little, get a little gritty with him. Yeah. Good boy. Good boy. And then, does Ann normally have you help untack him? Yes. Perfect. Well, let's do it, then. I don't mind the help. <laughs> I don't mind. That's our place. Yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy. All right, our morning walk ended up at the park. This is so we ended up at the Good job, guys. Park. Nice little, nice little workout walk. Yeah. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, folks. But if it gets too hot, we have a tree. Chapman, we're not crossing, bud. We're not, not we're doing that. We're doing that park last. Dad, that this wing is right there. I see more swings. Yeah. And there's one for like Marcy or Gabriella. There's one. So y'all want to go to those yeah. swings? The swings have. Do you know okay, come on. That's yeah, where the space park is. So <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dad, Salem, you got your wishes. You go to the space park. We go to the swings. Okay, let's go. Let's cross the road. See you later. Bring me back a moon rock. Okay. Okay. I have a moon rock. You got a moon rock already? Thank you. It's blue. Thank you, little buddy. Dada, 
You be careful on that. Dada, I just want to show you how I'm to climb. climbing up to the top. Coming. Look how high I am. Wow, Salem, you big boy. Dada, dada. Jump down. No. Yeah, you have to. Go help your brother. Nice. Okay, you don't do that again, okay? I'm gonna do it on the rope pots. Okay. Such a pretty mural. Such a pretty alley. We're having a firstborn date day. I don't know if it's a date day, but date morning. Grabbing a quick treat surprise for the other kiddos. Welcome back from the yard. Dada is really channeling his inner, inner British man. I like it. Did y'all have fun? Yeah. Have fun all by yourself. Foolishness, Adeline I tell you. and I, foolishness. I don't know when the last time we've ever had a no, date. Oh, foolishness. So. That was fun. You spent all morning with my here. Here. All he by yourself. Here. Okay, we're going to go primarily in one direction with this waterproofing barrier and then in an hour and a half we'll do a second coat and it says it has to go in the opposite direction for it to be up to the standard for water waterproofing so that's what we're gonna do Neither here nor there 
unfamiliar everywhere wild world no eye has seen may the old way fade away it's my whole world you Teach me to wait Time dethrone no matter What I'll see your face Ignite the flame of longing Teach me to wait Time dethrone no matter What I'll see your face bright and shining land let my life be your flame hotter and higher longer and brighter let me burn while I wait okay up and down two times. Did not think she was doing both coats. Steerizers and the trim. That's ludicrous. And finished waterproofing the shower. I told her to date me. She doesn't want to eat food because it sits on the baby. <laughs> we need to go to a juice bar. <laughs> that sounds great. <laughs> go get bubble tea. Now you're talking. <laughs> it looks so good. It does. I mean, actually, I love that. To, you can get a hair smirk and get me black paint to do the the rail railing. I love that. Good job, babe. And then. I'll have pizza if it's wood fired. No, we not eat pizza because you'll have indigestion. That's true. They have a white pizza. He'll still have indigestion. <laughs> <laughs>